sutras actually like you know anuman <clears throat> chalisa telugu and hindi then uh, what is that uh, shivastuti linga ashtakam aditya hrudayam venkatesar suprabhatam vishnu sahasram you never tries to do it but because i don't have that this childhood even while taking bath i would start reciting because i don't want to spend so much time in uh, in temple room you know okay you need to worship them because uh, somebody will give you education something like that but no not like that if you really want to make progress in spirituality in bhakti you sit down in the corner can you see this picture yes prabhu ji so on the picture just give me one minute when you sit down to chant the holy name so can you see there is actually a shadow like a barrier so in spirituality the very important part, aspect is fighting against material energy we are stuck in three modes we have seen that so we want to come out of the three modes for that we need to first reach satgun and then practice bhakti yoga and transcend transcend means it's like uh, <clears throat> satvagun means you'll be running on the runway your for your flight of spiritual life is, you know is running on the runway of a, uh, on the path of spirituality and then you practice bhakti yoga so come to satvagun and practice bhakti yoga and then you'll take off you'll go back to god here so for that the sp- spiritual process are very important one the for that one is chanting which i have been emphasizing on this in our classes <clears throat> so chanting the holy name so this nine ways of bhakti shravanam kirtan when you do it proper says this this material world this samsara cycle of birth and death it's like a ocean even if you are a great swimmer how long can you swim in the ocean one day you'll be frustrated but when you take up the process of bhakti take shelter of krishna or vishnu krishna will pick you up from the cycle of birth and death you know oh my lord please and come and help me you know <clears throat> so uh, so when you there are three words sambandha abhideya prayojana somebody will ask why should i worship krishna why should i practice bhakti yoga you know why only krishna krishna says you are my part and parcel ಮಮೇವಾಂಸ ಜೀವಲೋಕೆ ಜೀವಭೂತ ಸನಾತನ ಓ ಐ ಎಂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಬಿಲ್ ಗೇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ರಿಚ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕೇರ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಎನಿ ಮನಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕೇರ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ 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 ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಎಮನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಶಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಮಧ್ಯನ ಅಹಂ ಬಿಜ ಪ್ರದಾರ್ಥ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಐ ಎಂ ದ ಸೀಡ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಮನೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ body is given to parents from dust it will come unto dust it will return but the soul krishna is eternal so we are eternal 2.1 to bhagavad gita so <clears throat> but we are stuck in the cycle of birth and death infinity you know even we got of course uh, we have got this human life in that evolution but it, this body doesn't stay for a long time 70 80 90 that's maximum 100 maximum then the body becomes dilapidated and then we have to leave the body so before we reach the end of our life we should try to cleanse our heart get rid of all the impurities then <clears throat> we will awaken that love of god then what happens so that's why this process we tell people to chant the holy name we tell people to cook food and offer food to krishna and eat prasad then read bhagavad gita bhagavatam and perform naam sankirtan at home and uh, do little service you know for the pleasure of other living entities what is the best service give krishna to others you know yare deka tarakah krishna upadesh give krishna to others make others give up bad habits make them take up the process of bhakti and one day you will go back to godhead breaking the cycle of birth and death 
then today's lesson is that what is taking what is going what will happen what is mukti Muk, listen carefully please muktir hitva anyata rupam swarupen vyasiti bhagavatam says what is mukti being situated in your original constitutional position that is mukti so like in your man or woman this left time you are very attached to the husband next left time will become a man and the husband is very attached to the wife next left time will become a woman or somebody is, is in tamagun next left time they'll become a dog you know so likewise we are changing different species 84 lakh species chaurasi lakh yoni but if we want to once for all end all these things you know then now we have to do sadhana so when we go back to our sadhana there is a, sadhana means what spiritual practices that will cleanse your heart when the heart is cleansed like a mirror is there a mirror is filled with the dirt today cleanse the mirror you need a soap what is a soap so cleanse the mirror of the heart uh, this the soap is a holy name harinam hare krishna mantram so when you chant hare krishna mantra it will cleanse the impurities of your heart in what happens you will see yourself you can see yourself as a soul trust me you know in 15 days you can see yourself as a soul i can tell you the process if you want or i might have told i don't remember you know so but bhakti yoga process when you practice you will develop a, a spiritual form so that is the topic today spiritual form is five types the liberation is also five types. i mean liberation is five types what is that shanta dasya sakya vatsalya mathurya shanta dasya sakya vatsalya mathurya means spiritual when you attain liberation uh, you will come to know your relationship with krishna your service with krishna and very you are in which part you are going back if you are attached to vishnu you will go back to <clears throat> vaikuntha if you are attached to krishna you will go back to krishna loka goloka vrindavanam goloka eva nivasati aklaatma bhuta govinda madhupurusham tamvayam so in goloka vrindavanam krishna loka uh, parrots uh, cows the kalpa vriksha trees so they are all in santras sanak sanandan sanak sanandan sanadan sanat kumar these four brothers they are in santras prahlad is in santras means if you when you are bhakti you are very appreciative of krishna's qualities you are very appreciative of krishna's qualities krishna's uh, past times leela krishna leela and krishna's uh, form rupa and krishna's name you are very appreciative but there is not so much of saris that is that stage is called shantaras so the next level is dasyaras dasyaras means all the residents of vaikuntha jay and vijay um all the all the residents of vaikuntha they serve you know uh, vishnu in dasiras you know dasiras means there is a reverential aspect there is a reverential aspect in dasiras means you are not very intimately connected with the lord but uh, you are very connected with the lord in the mood of a servant so in this if you consider this as all the this you know this is spiritual world different different planets keshava planet narayana madhava govinda vishnu masudan trivikram vamana sridhara rishikesh padmanabha damoda sankrishna vasudeva vridhi nanda pushottam dakshida narasi machida yanardha pendra are so these are all the planets you know of this uh, vishnu is different planets vishnu is incarnations you know um and they are all in a dasyaras but one portion of uh, one portion of vaikuntha planet is ayodhya where rad ramchandra's planet is there these planets are eternal you know so um hanuman ji hanuman is a 
uh, is the best example for us, Dasyaras. Anuman is exemplified, you know, in this ras. Means he does very excellent service, but he doesn't take credit. And Anumanji gave credit to Lord Ramchandra only. No, I didn't do anything. But uh, the name of Ram did everything. Everyone is listening? Yes, Prabhuji. Interesting. Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhu. So, yes, Prabhuji. <laughs> So, what is that? Um, oh, Hanuman, what Hanuman does? Hanuman does all the, like, you know, spirituality is not sitting in one corner and, uh, you know, uh, going to Himalayas and doing tapasya. No, spirituality means, you know, choose your master. You know, Hanuman chose Lord Ramchandra. You know, Hanuman is fortunate to see Lord Ram, that Supreme Lord. Life. So, when Hanuman met, First time Anuman met Ram, Anuman was not surrendered. But when he saw Sita, then he understood, wow, for this lady he is working hard. Actually, the cause was not so great. She felt, okay, he lost his wife and he is asking for help. She's looking beautiful, no doubt. But when he saw Sita, that inter internal energy, then he understood because of her grace. Then Ravana asked, Who are you, monkey? First time Ram said, Hanuman said, Dasoham Koslendrasya. I'm servant of Lord Ram. Up to that day, he never said that. So, spirituality is not sitting in one corner and doing meditation. Spirituality means taking, a, <clears throat> taking a projects. For the pleasure of the Supreme Lord, for the pleasure of Guru and Krishna. Anuman, find out where Sita is. My Lord, okay, how does Sita look like? If you see Ramayana, if you keep Ramayana aside as a spiritual uh, epic, Ramayana is a great detective novel. First of all, Anuman doesn't know, doesn't know how Sita looks like. Ram said Sita looks very beautiful. You know, she her eyes are like lotus and she has a long hair. My Lord, any lady has this type of, you know, uh, qualities. There were no selfies those days, Hare <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> so, but you know, what is that? Uh, anyway, Anuman, if you find this mudri, you know, Sikamakra Sita give this mudrika, this ring to her. So, Anuman never knew how Sita, you know, Anuman never got this uh, picture of uh, cell phone picture from uh, Lord Ramchandra. But Anuman had to trace her. Uh, trace her way, find out her whereabouts and uh, Come and reveal it to Ram. It's a beautiful thing, actually. Finally, Anuman, you know, he found out. And he came back. Actually, Sugriva sent all the Vanas in four directions. Nobody could find out. Only the group that went in southern direction. In fact, Jambavan was more powerful. But became old. That's why leader means, um, rather than taking credit, you have to get the job done. So, everyone had to jump. They chose Anuman. Jambavan said, no, no, we don't need to worry. Anga, Angad said, I can jump. But problem is, uh, I lose all my energy and I don't know whether I can jump back. Anga, Jambavan said, when I was in youth, I used to jump all the, you know, everywhere. But now I become old. But still I can try. But however, we have one person here who can definitely jump and come back comfortably. Anuman. But because of the curse, he forgot all his uh, abilities. Let us, you know, uh, awaken his knowledge of his abilities. Anyway, Anuman went and found out Sita and came back. Now, trust me, you know, yeah, all these hundreds and thousands of monkeys, nobody could find out. Anuman found out Sita. What you will do? First, you will remove the two buttons. I did this. No. Rama and Valmik Raman explains. Uh, so somebody came and told Sugriva, they, this monkey destroyed Madhuvan. Sugriva said it means they found out Sita. That's why they are doing, they are, they are enjoying the party. Great. So then, <clears throat> then who found out Sita? Anuman used passive voice. Drishtava Sita. Sita was seen. He didn't say by me. That is the glory. You do service, you don't take the credit. 
So, my lord, Sita was seen. Okay, southern direction. Angad went, Jambavan went, Null went, Neel went. Who saw? Anuman gave the credit to the group. That's why devotee should be like salt. Salt, if the salt is perfect in the dish, you give credit to the dish. Today's subject is very good. Why? Because salt is adequate. But the salt is less. People will crush the salt. Hey, salt is not enough. But the salt is enough. You don't give credit to salt, but you give the credit to the dish. Everyone is listening. Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, give credit. So, like, you should be like salt. Yes, so, give credit to the group. You know, to the activity. Not Don't try to create, take credit. Then you'll have enemies. And in your office, you know, another person wants a name for you. No, and then you are getting the name all the time. You'll become envious. You'll become your, you'll become your, your deadly enemy. So, Hanuman behavior? Drishtva Sita. Sita was seen. By whom? Nal, Neel, Angad? Are you? He didn't say that. Anyway, and then he built the bridge. Then, uh, you know, what is that? Uh, but at the end, Hanuman said, Hanuman, you did all these wonderful activities? Hanuman said, no. The name of Ram did everything. That is servant. Anyway, today I have a story to tell you. You know, <clears throat> I'm just I'm trying to tell you how a servant acts, act, how a servant acts in a liberated state. So I was after Lord Lord Ramsar came back, and uh, he was coronated. Um, ever since Ram came back, she is like Vibhishan. I was ever said, Bharat and Shatrughna they have been longing their way. They have been waiting to. Uh, waiting to see Lord Ram because they want to say they're also they're also part and parcel of Ram and they want to serve Ram. But ever since Ram came back, one problem. What is that? He came back with Vibhishan and Hanuman. After he was coronated, oh, everyone went back. Vibhishan went back, Sukhri went back, everyone went back, but Hanuman stayed back. Hanuman stayed. So this this has brought a change in the events. Any service. Anuman does. He is always next to Ram. Bharat didn't like it. Array, ever since this uh, Hanuman came, we have lost the opportunity for service. So one day he made a plan. What he did? Let us allocate services. We do that in our temples. You know, a monthly basis, weekly basis. You know? Um, so he called everyone, but he didn't call Hanuman. Let us allocate services. Okay, Lord Ramchandra, when he gets up in the morning, someone has to put paste on the toothbrush and give it to him. So one person, Lakshman said, I'll do it, right? Lakshman. Someone has to prepare the hot water for Ram and put it, you know, prepare it. Satrana said, I'll do it. So likewise, you know, someone has to, you know, keep his clothes ready. So likewise, everyone took service. Oh, they all took their services. Practically, Lakshmi Villa, Bharat made sure not even one service was left over. And so, because they wanted to serve Ram. So in a liberated, in a conditioned state, like, you know, my hand is there. If my hand is healthy, loves to serve the body. Somebody gives a gulab jam and it'll put it in the mouth. But when you, when hand gets paralysis, if somebody gets a gulab jamun, you cannot take it. So, when we are not serving Krishna, we are in a diseased state. Like a, like a hand gets paralysis. Like in a diseased person can never be happy, right? So, likewise, <clears throat> but in a healthy state, so they, they, are all, they are all liberated souls. Actually, Shatrughna, Bharat, Lakshman, they are Vishnu Sattva only. So, on the top of it, they want to serve their brother. Then what happened? So <laughs> Bharat pasted that schedule on the on the Lord Ram's palace room. This is a schedule for next one month. So one day Hanuman was like, you know, it's already four o'clock. Uh, so Lord Ramsar would get up in the morning. So Hanuman was rushing. 
birth stop him. Where are you going? Where am I going? Bala. Sir, Lord Ramchandra will get up in the morning and I have to assist him in his services. I mean, in his uh, daily activities. Bharat told him, we made schedule. We announced, we wanted everyone to come. If anyone wants to render service to Ram, we told everyone to come. I think somehow you didn't get that message. Oh, no, no problem. Next week, next time, when we make the schedule, you can come. See on the wall, all the schedules are made. You know, all the services are allocated. Somebody is there. So if you go there, means you'll take somebody's service. You know, if, if some of you may not know. If no, devotees don't want to give up their service. You know? Lakshmi, Hanuman cannot imagine his life without service. So he went and saw the schedule. Every service was taken. He understood somehow this was a plan to keep him away from Ram service. He understood. Bharat said, if at all any service is left over, you can write your name there. Anuvan thought, one service you forgot. Bharat got a doubt. What is that I forgot? No problem. All right, you write your name and uh, that service, and uh, again, is that you write your name? By the way, what is that service? When Ram gets the sneeze, you need, there should be somebody to give the kerchief. Bharat said, write down. So, Anuman wrote, when Ram gets a sneeze, kerchief should be given to him. Who does the service? Hanuman. Bharat said, all right, we can go. Hanuman said, my Lord, how can I go? Because you do not know when sneeze comes. So I should go. He is going to get up at any time now. So if you ask me, I should go inside. <laughs> Bharat thought, wow. Then he went inside. When he went inside, means again, you know, yeah, you push, you put the paste on the brush, and you know, here is the water, everything. Wow. So in a liberated state in Dasyaras, a living entity is that much addicted to rendering service to the Supreme Lord. Are you all? You're listening or not? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, you want yes. me to tell one more story or you know, continue? Continue. Please continue, Prabhuji. Continue means... Yes, uh, Prabhuji. Uh, Sorry, also sorry again. Prabhuji. No, no, I, I can't hear. You want me to go to the next... Story, again. story. Again, show. story, story. Correct. So... Uh, see, actually, I'm trying to tell you to what extent a servant serves. You know, um, the only person who can allow, who is allowed to enter Mother Sita's chambers is Hanuman. Nobody is allowed. Of course, Lord Ramchandra has a husband of Mother Sita. And so Mother Sita can prepare a 10 course meal in just a zoop, like breeze. She does, she, you know, she would do everything very fast. But when it comes to one activity, she would spend, take a lot of time. So she would put a little kumkum in the pot and just, you know, signify that she's married. In India, married women, they would put a little kumkum in the pot, you know. So like hair is separated, right? Like ladies, they do like this in the middle, middle is a pot. They put a little kumkum there, sindur. So Mother Sita, though she's expert at doing things very fast, she would sit in front of the mirror and put a little kumkum there, so. Anuman would look, oh, why is she spending so much time? One day asked, Mother, I have a question for you. I said, yes. Mother, why do you, why do you like, you know, sit down in front of the mirror just to decorate that tiny little sindur? Sita said, my son, you don't understand. Lord Ramchandra loves this very much. Oh, he loves it very much. Yes, he loves to see the sindur in my part. That's why I take so much time to meticulously apply this. Okay, great. Anuman understood something. Next day, Lord Ramchandra came. So Sita and Mother Ram, Sita and Lord Ram, Sita Ram, they were going in the, in the garden, you know. So suddenly, somebody jumped in front of them. Big animal. 
Sita said, oh. Sita became scared. But Ram, Lord Ram was not ready. He did not have his bow and arrow. He said, all right, let me fight. Who is coming in Ayodhya? They were witch demons. Practically, they were all exterminated. But um, that uh, animal was not doing anything. He came in front of Ram and said, are you happy now? It's a totally red in color. <laughs> so the animal is not atta attacking. Lord Ram sir became very, so let us fight. But the animal was not attacking. Then he looked at it, it's not animal. It is Hanuman. Sita opened her eyes and said, Hanuman, what is this? Get up. You are totally red. What happened? That's different. My Lord, are you happy now? So I am always happy, but uh, no, no, after seeing me, are you happier now? What do you mean? What happened? Sita started laughing. Hanuman, Lord Ramjadar said, why are you laughing? I don't understand. My Lord, he cannot tell you. I'll tell you. Lord Ramjadar said, what happened? Yesterday he came and he saw me applying a little sundur in my part. He asked me why I take so much time. I said, you, lie, you love to see that. So he thought, you love to see this much sindur. So he applied his intelligence. So this much sindur is making him happy. What do you apply whole body with sindur? So what he did, Anwar, he applied whole body. He smeared the whole body with the, the sindur just to appear you know, uh, red in the, in the color of sindur, thinking uh, it will make Ram very happy, very bold. That is bhakti. Bhakti has no expectation. Bhakti wants, uh, you know, bhakta wants to serve the uh, Bhagawan, you know, for his pleasure. Ahaiti ki aprati hata yatma suprasidati. Samay pumsam paro dharma yudha bhakti radhoksha ji. So, what is the dharma of the living entities? Unmotivated service, uninterrupted service to adhoksha Krishna. Then he is fully satisfied. Any work you do, after some time you get bored. But bhakti is never boring because your soul is involved. So, just to make Lord Ram, he applied all his whole body is Sindur. That's it. That is Anuman Bhakti. You know? But what happened on the last day, everyone was going back, going. Lord Ram told, Anuman, pack the bags. We'll go to, we'll go back to the spiritual world. Vaikuntha. But Lord Ram didn't tell Anuman to pack his bags. So, because he's a servant, right? Servant means he does only what master tells him to do. But anyway, he also packed his bags. So finally Ram came and said, bags are ready? Yes. <laughs> I'm just telling. And my Lord, what about me then? You're going back. What about me? I cannot imagine my life without you. Ram said, the fact that Rama and happened is a testimony. You stay here. You know? You stay here as a standing testimony that Rama and happened. You stay here. And I will go. What a pain it is for Hanuman. Just to stay away from Ram, to stand as a testimony that Rama and happened. But servant is very obedient because pleasing Ram is his only goal. And once said, all right, my Lord, I'll do it. That's why in Sundarakanda, Ashta Siddhi Navaniti ke data asavaradina janaki mata. Anuman has Ashta Siddhis. It means you can become smaller than smallest, bigger than biggest. You can create a planet. You can become a millionaire. You can become a billionaire. You can, become, you can get the green card of America. Or uh, uh, you can fulfill others' desires. Wow, all the Ashtasiddhis, Anuman has it and he can give you also. But is he trying that? Did he make himself uh, the king of the you know, universe? No. The person who has all the mystic Siddhis is finding happiness chanting Ram's name. In other words, chanting Hare Krishna Mantra is the highest thing. 
without asking any, give me that, give me this. If you ask Krishna, give me that, give me this, if that bhakti is mixed and you have never been satisfied. What is the nature of this world? Greed. You know? So what is bhakti? Instead of exploitation, service. Instead of anger, humility. That is bhakti. So this is service. This is a dasiras in a Ayodhya. The next is a <clears throat> Vaikuntha has only two rasas, Sant and Dasya. But Ayodhya has one more. What is that? Sakya, primary Sakya. It is called Gaurava Sakya in, in Sanskrit. Sakya is two levels, two types. Gaurava Sakya, Vishrumba Sakya. Gaurava Sakya means respectable friendship. Vishrumba means intimate friendship. With Narayan, there is no friendship. You don't see anybody making friendship with Narayan. Only with Rama, a little respectable friendship. Only two people. Who? Vibhishan and Sugriva. Allah Ramchandra would put his hand around their shoulders. Because Ram, Ram made friendship with Sugriva. Ram also considers Vibhishan as his friend. But Vibhishan and Sugriva knew Ram as a Supreme Brahman, Parabrahman. So they don't put their hands around Ram's shoulders. So that, that friendship has a very respectful friendship. For example, uh, you know, after study, after your studies, you go and join uh, uh, some company, you know, or you join, join some hospital as a doctor or as an engineer, a software consultant. Then, you know, you have a colleague working with you for 10 years. Then you start sharing your things. This is what happens. But always there is no intimacy. There is a respectable friendship. How many of you agree? You don't say worry, worry, you know? Yes or no? Yes, go ahead. That is a respectable friendship, you know? Okay, you, find, you also find them little, okay, they are not, they're not difficult to handle. They are also good people. So there is a there is actually a fence. You don't jump, you don't let others jump. But not like your childhood friend, fifth grade friend, or tenth grade friend. So this type of friendship is called a Gaurav Sakya. With that I the ends. Then no Krishna Loka, Kola Kurundavan. Intimate friendship means ore ore. You know, means you, you meet your friends out of 20 years, out of 10 years, you eat in the same plate. You know, you'll talk till late night. You know, so when you go to, you know, your friend's home, they'll give their bedroom to you. Or probably sleep on the same bed, you know. You know. Mataji, Mataji, Prabhuji, Prabhuji, you know. So that much intimate friendship. That is found with Krishna. Now, this is there with Krishna. We'll, so we'll come, come to Krishna. So Krishna... <clears throat> Uh, Krishna's friends, Sri Dama, Sudama, Madhumangal, Stog, Krishna, Varutap, Arjun, Vishal. So these are all Krishna's friends. And uh, when Krishna would get up in the morning, he would blow on the this bugle, horn, you know. He'll blow. Then all the friends will come. And chalo, let us go. They will all go for uh, pasturing grounds. The cows, the cows will be playing and they're grazing and they will play. So one day, what happened? Krishna killed Agasur. Agha means sin. So Agasur, he assumed the form of a 12 mile long snake. We'll discuss that story later. But anyway, Krishna killed Agasur. Brahma was shocked. Wow, this boy, he killed a Putana. Agha, he killed a Sakdasur. Today he killed, you know, he killed Bakasur. He killed today. Agasur. In Vishnu Sasanam, Anago Vijayo Jeta Viswayone Punavus. Krishna is Anaga, sinless, entering into the mouth of sin, Agha. Who will win? Naturally, Krishna. You know, Krishna killed. So, but then all the friends, then, then suddenly he thought, Brahma thought, let me test him. Who is this boy? But he forgot. He is the one who requested him. That's why Krishna came. But he forgot now. So then what happened? All the friends, hey, we are hungry now. Krishna, Krishna, we are hungry now. 
So then open the lunch boxes. Everybody sat in the form of a lotus. Krishna sat in the middle like a wall, you know, in the like in the wall. So the, what is a wall like a wall of this lotus? So Madhuma Krishna's one of the friends is Madhumangal. So Krishna, 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 I have a gulab jam and a rasagulla for you. Krishna said, give it to me. No, no, I'll not give it to you. Open your mouth. Krishna said, open his mouth. Close your eyes. Krishna closed his eyes and opened his mouth. So Madhumangal, what he did, he put the rasagulla in his mouth. Uh, actually, it's laddu. And he put a flower in Krishna's mouth. He put flower in. This is supreme personality of Godhead. Ittam Brahma Sukana Bhutya. Dasyam Gadanam Naradeva Kena. So this, this verse is from Srimad Bhagavatam. You know? So this is Supreme Brahman. They are all his friends. They are not ordinary. Why they could get the opportunity to play with the, the Supreme Brahman? That Parabrahman Krishna? They have heaps and heaps of a devotional activities in their career. That's why they could hang on with the Supreme Lord on an intimate level as a friend. Sakam Vijaru Krutapanya Punja. So Krishna ate this is flower. This is not uh, Ladu, this is not Rasagulla. And Krishna opened his eyes and everyone was laughing. Krishna became upset. Krishna became upset and Madhumangali started putting all the Ladus in his mouth. So what Krishna did, he leaned over, he took his <laughs> he hit in his chest and cheeks, and when Laddu fell down, Krishna grabbed it, he ate it. Brahma was watching. See, this is Narayan. Narayan, I can't even see him. Darshan kabi milte ni. Narayan eating kisi ka juta ka reva. So he's eating remnants of somebody else. This is not, this is not that is original Adi Narayan. This is not that, that Krishna, that Hari. Maybe somebody else. But he killed Agasur. He killed Putana. Who is this then? Brahma forgot. Brahma's body is made up of intelligence, but because of because Krishna created illusion, he forgot. But let me test him. Anyway, the long story short, we'll tell this some, some other day. Brahma says, my Lord, my, my, in my illusion, I mean, in my mistake, the mistake I've done, you have 50% control, I have 50% blood. Krishna said, what do you mean? My, I have 50% control? Yes, my Lord. You know, you as Narayan, Narayan is, you know, we don't even see you. We don't get to see you. What to speak of you dealing with them very intimately. You are eating somebody's remnants. That's why Krishna is very sweet. You know? So that's why, my Lord, I die, God, doubt on you. Say, Mother Lakshmi, Krishna started performing a rasa dance with gopis. Mother Lakshmi could not believe. My husband never did this to me. So anyway, we'll come to that later. That is a Vishwamba Satya. Krishna is Krishna the supreme hero. Naika Nam Siro Ratnam Krishna Bhagavan Swayam. But when Krishna, when Sri Rama comes, Krishna would get up. If you get up like this, we'll allow you to play. Thank you. So, again, Agasur passed him. Agasur, all the friends thought everyone, Agasur is just a playground. Krishna said, that is not a playground. Agasura actually, and what is that? Agasura is a friend of Bakasura and Putana. Sorry, he's actually, no? Uh, yeah. So Putana was killed. So he comes and told him, kill him. So Agasura assumed a 12 mile long python and opened his mouth as a cave. Friends thought this is a playground. Krishna said, this is not playground. This is a demon. Agasur. Friend said, if it is a demon, you are there to help us anyway. Rescue us anyway. But we are going to play. Krishna said, I am telling you, this is a demon you are going to play. You are, you are, you are violating my order. 
don't we don't care we'll go and play so krishna said are my spiritual energy is how powerful spiritual energy is these guys are not listening to me why the leela has happened so made so yoga maya has already arranged the leela you know so anyway <clears throat> so they all entered the mouth of agastya and they died by a was a poison of agastya so as they were falling down as they were on the verge of death they called krishna try help me help me so krishna said you rascal agastya you know you have, you have actually you know cheated my friends to kill them so krishna says krishna started running so agastya stretched his tongue as a pathway so krishna started running As soon as Krishna entered the mouth, Agastya closed his mouth, and everyone was happy. They also felt sad because they were scared of Agastya. Alas, alas, alas! Then Krishna went into the mouth of Agastya. Now there is a lake of poison in the mouth, in the in the womb of Agastya. They all died. Krishna also fell in that lake of poison. But Krishna is what? You know, he is a death to death person. That is Krishna. So Krishna, you know what he did? Krishna expanded his body and killed Agastya, and he brought all the friends outside, but they're all dead. Krishna just glanced at them, and Krishna glanced at them. They were all brought back alive. So then they said, "Hey, इतना बड़ा सांप को आपने मार दिया? Such a big snake you killed?" Sridham said, "चलो, let us fight now." You know how can you kill that much big snake? Every time I defeat you in the wrestling, they start fighting each other and kill. She is about to defeat Krishna in less than five minutes. Aha, you are Krishna only, because I always defeat you. But they don't know by just mere glance of Krishna, they were brought back to life. That is Krishna. So every time Sri Dham would come, Krishna would get up. Ah, oh, when I when I when I come and give you, you give me seat, we will allow you to play. Otherwise, we will not allow you to play. Interesting or not? Yes, Prabhu. Yes, sir. Yes, Prabhu. So there is a place called Nadwara in Rajasthan, Krishna Temple only. In the Krishna Temple, there is a rule: the puja has to blow the conch. and uh, <clears throat> puja has to blow the conch and they should not open the door immediately they should wait for few minutes there is a story behind it you know it is actually bal gopal there you know <clears throat> uh, what happened so they would put krishna to rest in the afternoon and krishna would go out and play you know Uh, they would go out. He would go and go out and play. So one day, what happened? So Krishna was playing with his friends, goalies. Krishna was defeated. <laughs> Krishna was defeated. So defeating, you know, uh, winning party, no, <clears throat> losing party has to carry the defeat, you know, winning party. So what happened? Uh, so he, he, Krishna told, "All right, I'll carry you from here to there. Chalo, aaja." You know. Uh, come and uh, sit on my shoulders. I'll take you. His friend suddenly, it's three thirty. I mean, the afternoon. They have to, it's the time for the Lord to wake up. So Pujari blew the conch. First conch. Are time is up. So I should go into the temple and stay. He told his friend, "Hey, come, come right now. I have to go and say, I have to go and leave now." Friend understood. Krishna will leave. No, I said no. I want. You are defeated. You stay here. Krishna said, "Are you? I have to go inside." And stand there. Hmm? This is nothing doing. You are defeated, so you have to carry me. Until such time, you cannot go anywhere. Krishna said, "It's not possible. I have to go inside." They are they are blowing the conch. The bujari blew the conch second time. Krishna said, "I am telling you, please come. If you, you know, I'll carry you. I'll drop you to the destiny. You know, I'll re reach to the point point, and then have to go back. So nothing doing. You're lost." You know, you have to carry me. So Krishna said, "I am telling you, I'll carry you." But now they say, "Let me. I'm I'm little tired." So Krishna said, "It doesn't work. I have to go inside." Finally, Pujar blew the conch third time. Krishna told him, "Will you come or not?" 
Alka is the boy start coming now. But Pujari blew the conch third time. He said, I called you many times, you didn't come, now I have to go. Krishna disappeared. And disappeared. And Pujari opened the door. Krishna stood like this. This jewelry is like this. This jewelry is like this. <laughs> yeah, everything. Are, I am the one who put Krishna to rest. That jewelry was perfect. You know? And uh, this is Srinathji, Nadwar. What happened? Uh, why the, the, what is that, uh, uh, the jewelry is in such a disarray? What happened? And everyone was going into the temple. One boy was sitting. They told, hey, temple is open, come inside. The boy said, unko bahar ane do. No? Unko sabak sikhaunga. I'll teach him a lesson. What happened? What happened? He was defeated by me just now. We are playing goalies. And he, is, he ran away. I said, who? <laughs> Krishna inside. Nobody believed him. You know? But that's what happened. So again, they put him to Krishna. They put Krishna to rest at 8 o'clock. Krishna came out. Are chalo, okay, like, hey, no, no, no. You have galat kiya. I, you, you didn't carry me. I said, hey, I told you they had to go inside. That is my service. And uh, he pacified his friend by giving him gulab jamun raskula. And Krishna came in the dream of a puja and said, you guys, you should know this. What? Every time... When you put me to rest, sometimes I go and play. And not that as soon as you call, I should come back. Sometimes when I'm very busy playing, a real story actually. So you play, blow the conch and wait for some time. Because you know, this today is afternoon. Did you see my jewelry? Everything is like, you know, it was totally in disarray, you know, because I didn't get time to rearrange myself. Pujari said, yes, my Lord. All right. So today, in Nathwara, they blow the conch, one, two, three, and they wait for Krishna to come back and adjust his jewelry and stand like this. I revolve. You like this story? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Very nice, Prabhuji. So that is Krishna consciousness. Kevala Ananda Kanda. So this is a dasya sakiras. Means your bhakti grows. What is not possible with dasiras is possible with the sakya. Means more intimate. You deal with Krishna equal terms. Dasiras servant is one level, one step lower. Krishna also has servants in Gol, Gula Kundavan, Raktak Chitrak Patrak. They help Krishna in dressing. But uh, friends means very intimate. But if your bhakti will increase, little you'll go to the next level. Vatsalya, Yashoda. I know if you have time, I can keep on speaking. But listen, Yashoda is the topmost in this area. Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda together, but Yashoda is even one step ahead of Nanda Maharaj in that bhakti, Vatsalya bhakti. Yashoda can go to hell eternally for the pleasure of her son. She can do anything for Krishna. That's why Yashoda could do, could do anything with Krishna. You know? Traya Chopanishad Bhishya Sankhi Yogascha Satvate Obhuji Yamana Mahatyam Hari Samanya Tatmajam This person who is glorified in Upanishads, you know, if you are a Sankhi Yogi, you try to search for Krishna, you cannot find Krishna. If you are an Ashtanga Yogi, you go to Himalayas, you go to caves, Haridwar, and you try to do tapasya thousands and law, thousands of years, still Krishna doesn't come. But out of love for her son, she thought, this boy is my son. Hari Samanya Tatmajam. He's just an ordinary child, helpless child. You know? Yashoda, Yashoda, your son, you know? You know, he is God, he is Bhagavan himself, supreme personality of God. And Krishna is definitely not. Why, Yashoda? God means he has a senses in his full control. My son, you know, he is a chanchala, you know, very unsteady. Without steeping, he cannot. 
when there is a thundering and lightning in the sky, he comes and embraces, Mommy is scared. If I don't tell him bedtime stories, he cannot sleep. If I don't feed him, he cannot eat. He is God, <laughs> definitely not. So in the afternoon, one demon will come and Krishna would kill him. In the evening, Krishna would go home, oh, I'm tired. Man. So she was so dependent on Krishna. Sorry, he does. Krishna is so dependent on Yashoda. Yashoda never, never thought Krishna is a supreme lord. One day, Yashoda, Yashoda, what happened? Your son is eating clay. My son is eating clay. Every day I'm giving Sandeshim to Sandesh Rasagula. Gulab Jamun is eating clay. Yashoda came running. Yes, Yashoda. Krishna said, Can I come here? Yes, mother. Did you eat clay? Krishna said, No. But they are telling. Today they fought with me. They are all one party, I am another party. They were all defeated with me. That's why they are leveling all these allegations. But your brother Balram is also complaining. Balram also joined their party. He was also defeated. You know, mothers naturally they have that fear and affection, you know. This guy has eaten clay, you know. His health will be spoiled. Open your mouth. He said, I told you, I didn't eat. Krishna, Yashoda brought a stick actually. Krishna, can you build? Yad bhita, vata, pavati. Sun blows. Sorry, sun comes out of fear for the Supreme Lord. Wind blows out of fear for the Supreme Lord. Moon comes out of fear for the Supreme Lord. That Supreme Lord is scared of Yashoda. Can you believe this? Why? Because Yashoda has love, love for Krishna. Bhakti culminates. End of bhakti is plow. So Yashoda said, open your mouth. She was holding the stick. He said, I didn't eat. She said, open your mouth. The fear. He was shivering. He opened his mouth. Shunar Chakrati Dagur says, that is Supreme Personality of Godhead. Or just Krishna opened his mouth and that is Supreme Personality of Godhead. No, not like that. When he opened his mouth, he didn't make the mouth big, tiny mouth. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa. What happened? Krishna showed all the oceans, all the entire cosmic manifestation with so many universes. In one universe, so many galaxies. In one galaxy, so many solar systems. In one solar system, Earth. And Earth. Yeshwada, looking into, in, in Vrindavan, in Vrindavan, Yeshwada, looking into the mouth of Krishna. She saw everything himself. And uh, how the five elements, earth, water, air, earth, water, fire, air, how they are manufactured, how they come into existence, how they, 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 they you know, dissolve themselves. Karma, action and reaction, kala, time, everything she saw. And she thought, oh, I thought, by the power of illusion, I'm thinking uh, Nanda Maharaj is my husband and the, I'm the in charge of this entire ranch and I'm the, you know, this Krishna is my son. This is all illusion. This is, that day Gargumuni said, he's the supreme, he's the origin of that Narayan. You know, and she did this. When that illusion, that, that cover is removed, illusion is removed, <clears throat> And Krishna's supplements is revealed. She, she, she offered a namaskar. Krishna doesn't like this. Tomorrow onwards, she'll put him on the altar and do arti. He doesn't want that. He said, shh. Krishna followed everything. All right. Go and play. You know? So, oh, all right, Krishna. That is, that is, so even though Yashoda, moment to moment to moment, she would get an experience of the Divinity of Krishna, her love outpowered, you know, overpowered her uh, uh, reverence, reverence for Krishna. And Master Yashoda's love always overpowered, you know, the reverential aspect of Krishna. Krishna lived to go over them for seven days. Everyone was enjoying partying. But one person was miserable outside, one person was miserable inside. Outside was Indra. Because, you know, Indra's plan was spoiled. So Indra was upset. But inside was 
who's who's suffering like anything? Yashoda. You know, Krishna was lifting Govardhan Hill with his finger, pinky finger, little finger. <laughs> he said, no, oh, my son, you know, you know my, my, my son's finger is getting crushed. You know, my son, you know, please eat this letter to my son. Please, 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 you know. You know, I told you, you know, we, we, every year we are doing Indra Puja and Indra was happy, we were happy. You told not to do that uh, yajna and you know, that's why the, all the calamity happened. Krishna said, don't worry, Mother, everything is all right. Mother Mangal said, oh, Mother Yashoda, do you think your son is holding this Govardhan Hill? Definitely not. I am holding by my Brahma Tejas. We are Brahmins. So with my Brahman, Brahman power, we are holding the Govardhan Hill. Your son is standing like that. So you give all the letters to me. <laughs> so Madhavangal took all the letters from Yashoda. Krishna said, Hari, Hari, I am lifting the Gordhan Hill. This guy is eating all the letters. So he signaled his friend. So it's a, just a sweet, sweet pastimes. Leela. You know? So Yashoda, actually I can tell many more. You know, for next, probably one hour I can speak. So uh, the last thing. Should I tell one more and finish it? Should I? Yes, Prabhuji. So, Narad Muni came and told, my Lord, I know tomorrow you'll go to Urundava and Mathura. Day after tomorrow you'll kill Kamsa. You know? So Narad Muni, what he did. <clears throat> anyway, so Kamsa understood Krishna was uh, Krishna is the one, and Balram, Krishna and Balram. So he wanted to kill Krishna. So he sent a message to Nanda Maharaj. We are performing Dhanur Yajna. Send, you know, there will be a big bow. So bring your children to see that uh, Dhanur Yajna. And Kausa made a huge plan how to kill. You know, this elephant, Koliapida, will kill Krishna. If not, uh, you know, in Dhanur Yajna place, you know, somebody will be there to kill Krishna. If not, we are arranging Mushtik and Chanur, these wrestlers, powerful wrestlers, they will kill Krishna. If not, at least I will be there to kill Krishna. So he made all the plans. So then Nanda Maharaj is actually, you know, uh, Nanda Maharaj is a, oh, in charge of the cowherd community under Kamsa. So when, when he got the message for Kam Kamsa, Kamsa, Nanda Maharaj said, all right, okay, Nanda Maharaj is innocent. Okay, we are, we are getting invitation from king to witness Dhanuri Yajna. Let us go Balram, Krishna. Yashoda, we are going to Mathura tomorrow. Yashoda said, Krishna will not come. I want everyone to please listen. This is ultimate. <clears throat> Nandamara said, Yashoda, but Maharaj, this Kamsa is ordering to bring our children. Nanda, you know, Krishna and Balna. You can go, but Krishna will not come. To Mathura. Yashoda, what are you talking? No, you know, this is an order from the king. We should, we should, uh, we should oblige. Rohini came and told. Rohini knew what's going to happen. Rohini said, In Yashoda, don't be so adamant. Send Krishna. Yashoda said, My son will not go. If you want, you send your son, Balram, but I'll not send my son. Why, Yashoda? Why are you so adamant? Nandamara asked. Rohini asked, why are you so, why are you, why are you, why you don't want to send Krishna with them to see Dhanari Yajna? Krishna is watching. What can I tell you? This boy, his hands are not steady. He cannot pass the day without stealing. Um, he steals in Vrindavan. Here we are kings here. My husband is a king here. So, even though some, sometimes some people catch him, they don't beat him up. But tomorrow he goes to Madhura. Tomorrow he'll go to Madhura and he cannot give up stealing. And Though in Mathura, nobody knows us. Nobody knows him. They'll beat him up. I don't want my son to be beaten up. My son will not go. 
Wow. <laughs> this is the supreme personality of Godhead. You know, his expansion, Mahavishnu has to glance on the Mahatattva to uh, glance on Pradhan to bring Mahatattva into action. Then all the elements are created. Mother Yashoda is telling, my son will die. Finally, Krishna said, Mother, I'll go, Mother. Yashoda, ever since Putana came to kill Krishna on the sixth day, Yashoda was in anxiety. People go and learn yoga to become peaceful, to become relieved of stress. But Yashoda was in always in anxiety. You know? Whenever the, so the first, she understood when Krishna became six year old, he'll start grazing cows. She cannot stop. But she was in anxiety. Wherever she was, she would think of Krishna. Maybe my son should not step on a pebble. No, my son, maybe he should, not, he should not step on a thorn. An animal may come and attack Krishna. He may step on fire. A demon may come and attack. She was in all in, always in anxiety. Sridhara Swami, the expert commentator of Srimad Bhagavatam, says, Mother Yashoda is in topmost samadhi. In the, in the Vatsalyadas, no one has ever attained till this day. You know, you may know, in that anxiety, she is fully Krishna conscious, whether she was cooking, she, whatever she was doing, in her heart, Krishna is there. And she would see Krishna, what he's doing. She is fully, not even one second, she was not Krishna conscious. That is, you know, she was not, not Krishna conscious. That is Krishna consciousness. This is not International Society for Krishna activity. International Society for Krishna consciousness. Be conscious of Krishna, no matter what you do. Whatever the activities you are doing, if you are doing for the pleasure of Krishna, yajnyardat karma no nyatra lokayam karma bandhana tadardham karma kaunteya mukta sangha samachar. You know, that is Krishna consciousness, not activity. Krishna Bhakti Bhavana Amruta. Krishna Bhakti Bhavana. Then where is the stress? When Krishna comes, everything is happiness. You know? Anyway, I can continue more on that. Anyway, as the Krishna left, he said, Mother, Mother, no, I'll go. Away. All right, you will not steal that. Mother will come back in three days. Sure, you will come back in three days? Yes. This person didn't come back in three days. Four days, four months, four years, 50 years, 100 years, Krishna didn't come. He showed that tears never stopped. He went this way. Vrindavan and Mathura not so far. Why he showed that never went to Mathura to see Krishna? It's just not, not so far. She could have gone. Why should she suffer day and night for Krishna? There are two ways from Mathura to Vrindavan. You, do you know this? Yashoda cooked Krishna breakfast, lunch and dinner for 100 years. Every day she cooked. Why she didn't go? Mathura and Vrindavan, there are two ways. If I go this way and my son comes this way, and when he comes inside, and when he doesn't find me, my son's heart will be broken. I cannot see that. When my son comes, I should be there to receive my son. I'll go through that suffering of his separation. But when my son comes, he cannot miss me. I should have waited at the do doorstep for Krishna. Day after day after day, month after month after month, year after year after year, fully Krishna conscious. That is Yashoda. Hare Krishna. So, Bhakti is Lord Chaitanya came. And the next is Radharani, of course, to Mathuras. We'll talk about that next week. You know? So, bhakti is very satisfying. Satisfying is a tiny word. 
Bhakti is very pleasing. We are a spirit soul, not the body. The goal of life is to awaken that love of God. Shri Chaitanya, that to which Bhakti, Vraj Bhakti. Where Krishna, if you uh, accept him as your friend, he'll become your friend. If you accept him as your son, he'll become your son. If you accept him as, as, his, as your lover, he'll become your lover. If you accept him as your master, he'll become your master. That is Krishna. So, we got this human form, human form, very rare human form, where we can understand all these things. If we lose this human form, there is no guarantee we get the human form again. Why not we give one lifetime to Krishna, the rest of the life, but all the number of years that are there with us? Get rid of the impurities. And what is left in the heart? That love of Krishna. And then go back to Krishna. That is the goal of human life. That's what we have taken birth into this world for. So we'll continue next week. The next one is Radharani. The height of the, the epitome of love and the culmination of love. We will chill talk next week. Any question or comments? I'm sorry, a little late, but uh, thank you very much for you know patiently listening. Is there any Namaste yes, Prabhuji? Yes. Is there any reason why Ishoda suffered so much? Prabhuji, it appears it is suffering. It is happiness. Ananda Chinmay Rasta. You know, happiness called Sambhog and Vipralamba. Vipralamba means separation. You know, in separation, for example, um, but here, for example, your daughter, like, you know, you know, I can, in a school, okay, school bus comes at four o'clock. School bus came, but your daughter day is not there. And then time is five o'clock. Mataji calls you. Daughter didn't come home. Really? School bus came? Yes. Then what you will do? You'll call the school. You know, my daughter has not come home. School principal says, no, your daughter went in the same bus. I saw her. Then what happens? You will be in anxiety. Yes. But in that anxiety, you will be fully conscious of your daughter. Yes or no? Mm. But this is all material. Your anxiety gives you suffering. But this is Krishna. Mm. You know, that is anxiety gives you unlimited joy. That we do not mm. know. Not ordinary joy. So, mm. did, you, did you anytime eat a hard jalebi? It will burn your mouth, but that's the taste is what you want to eat. So, you're feeling intense separation from Krishna. Now, Krishna means reservoir of pleasure. Probably, if you remember Krishna for one second, your heart will explode in joy. Or to speak, you're, you're consciously thinking of Krishna. My, you know, that as your son, my son didn't come, my son didn't come home, my son didn't come home. So, the Mother Yashoda actually no. <laughs> Anybody connected to Krishna no suffering at all. It's an intense feeling of a absorption and love. You know, that's what this is created by Krishna only. You know, mm. because she remembered Krishna, Krishna gave her that experience of intense joy of separation. Ordinary people cannot understand. It's a technical word called vipralamba bhava. Vipralamba means separation. Actually, in separation, you are more connected. Mm. You know? In separation, you are more connected. In union, you are not that much connected. You know, So, Rupa Goswami, the Bhakti Rasacharya writes, mm. just to give a better example, you know, um, okay, your daughter is with you for, you know, after 12th grade. So, now she got, she got a medical seat and she goes to her university and she goes away. Suddenly, then you feel separation. You go to her room. You see her school bag. You remember her. And you see her shoes. You remember her. You see her books. You remember her. And in fact, in the books, in the shoes, and in the school bag, you'll, you'll see her everywhere. Yes, or no? Mm -hmm. It's a middle example. And like, you know, in, in newly married, another example, Rupa Goswami is newly married. When husband is away, wife feels separation. Likewise, a devotee in a very exalted state, he, he or she feels separation from Krishna. That is a, the joy, the ultimate ecstasy. 
Understanding? Yes, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. Everyone can experience. We can all, everyone, we all can experience. But we need to do little sadhana. I tell the direction mantra to chant. If you do the sadhana intensely, you can also experience very easily. You know? Yeah, thank you. Any other question or comment? Any other question or comment otherwise? I'm good, Guruji. Okay. So if, if we're good, then we'll end it. My obeisances, thank you very much. And uh, we'll, I look forward to seeing you next week. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sri Ram, Sri Ram, Sri Ram. Thank you. Thank you. Light on. Thank you. 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 Thank you.